welcome back to 27 Fox Place. I say this all the time, but I have a daily routine that I do every morning to tidy up around the house. And laundry is something that I like to get done as early as possible. So I program my washer to run in the morning so that when I get out of bed, I can put the clothes into the dryer. And it cuts my wait time in half so that I'm able to get the laundry folded before I start my day. And I like to use laundry bags to protect things like sweaters and delicate items so that I don't have to run a separate load. And once I empty out the laundry bags, I can hang up anything that needs to air dry. It was such a beautiful day here that I had the doors and windows open to let the fresh air into the house, but the wind started to pick up a little bit later, and when it's windy, I have to remember to prop open the bedroom door so that it doesn't slam shut. But as you'll see, when the wind picked up this morning, it blew the bedroom door shut and scared the life out of me. <laughs> My morning routine varies from day to day, but I always make the bed first thing in the morning. And the focus of my morning routine is getting the house tidy and back in order for the day. And the order that I take care of the tasks depend on where I am when I get started. If you're new here, my name is Randy and I make videos for cleaning and organizing motivation and I post new videos every Friday. So if you like this kind of content, be sure to subscribe. This is part five in my zone cleaning series and if you missed any of my other videos, be sure to check out the playlist in the description box. And I'm getting started on the lower level this week, but before I can get started cleaning in this zone, I need to wash the blankets. I try to include every part of the room when I'm zone cleaning, and I like to start at the top of the room and work my way down to the floors, and we have a very heavy texture on the walls that collects dust, and I like to start by dusting the walls and getting rid of the cobwebs. This small entry is not part of the living room zone, and I normally include this small area when I clean the stairs and hallway, but I didn't get to it when I was cleaning in that zone, so I'm starting here. That way I'm not tempted to leave it until the next time I'm cleaning the stairs and hallway. I'm just using water and a microfiber cloth to clean everything as I make my way around the room. And for reflective surfaces like glass and mirrors, I use a dry microfiber cloth to remove the water spots. And this mirror has a carved frame with hard to reach crevices. So I just use a paintbrush to reach into the places that a microfiber just can't get into. I wasn't sure I was going to like using microfiber cloths, but the more I use them, the more I like them. <laughs> and they're designed to trap dirt and bacteria and they release what's been collected when you rinse them in water. And they save a ton of time because I don't have to stop and switch products while I'm cleaning. And they save money because I can use less cleaners. But it's also good for the environment because it cuts down on the amount of single-use plastic bottles that I have to throw out. And it cuts down on the chemicals that I have to use in my home. And the only drawback that I've noticed is there isn't a clean smell that I've learned to associate with the cleaning products when 
when I'm finished cleaning. I've experimented with a lot of different cleaning schedules and I didn't want to spend all of my time cleaning, <laughs> but I also wanted to have a clean house and the system that I've been using is similar to the Fly Ladies and I spend about 15 minutes a day on a weekly cleaning task and I spend another hour a week on zone cleaning and of course that doesn't include meals and the daily cleanup, but there's almost always a week or two that I miss for one reason or another, but having a cleaning schedule makes it easier to stay on track because I can just pick up where I left off. get questions about what's in these jars and they are heritage jars in the two gallon size and I use them to keep flower petals and I've been saving all of the flowers from my husband since we first met and every time my husband gives me flowers I clip off the heads from the flowers and I let them dry out completely and then I add them to the jars. Now there are names of written in stone. Let's be honest, sounds like home. dust and vacuum the house about once a week and every time I dust a little bit gets left behind and when I let this go for too long a grimy film starts to become visible and dry dusting just isn't enough to get things clean and I tried a one month schedule but it took too much time to get everything done and I've tried a quarterly schedule but the house just wasn't staying clean so finding a schedule to keep my house clean without cleaning a clean house was a bit tricky especially because my house looks pretty clean for the most part. I carry around a bucket of water to rinse out the microfiber cloth while I'm cleaning and as you'll see it doesn't take very long before I need to empty the bucket and refill it with clean water.
I'm using Methods Wood Cleaner on the fireplace mantle, and a microfiber cloth alone is all I really need to clean the mantle, but since I already have the wood cleaner on hand, it's a good opportunity to use it up. This is a good day as any To start the rebuilding of life The roads that lay open are many When the old one's gone under the knife And I can feel the sun on my skin I got started cleaning the living room and forgot all about the clothes that were in the dryer and normally I try to stay focused on the task at hand so that I don't end up bouncing all over the place but I needed to fold the clothes before I could put the blankets in the dryer so I decided to take a little break and fold the laundry. Excuses were two for a penny but they've all gone out the window of this car and when I I wash microfiber cloths separately in mesh bags to prevent lint and hair from sticking to them. And high heat temperatures can damage microfiber cloths, so I wash them in warm water and I dry them on a low heat setting. And I also like to color code the cloths by how I use them. So the green cloths are multi-purpose cloths that I use for cleaning all over the house. I use the blue cloths only in the kitchen, and I use the yellow cloths in the bathroom on the sinks and tubs. It's a good day to day and not tomorrow. There's no time to borrow today. Well, something's got to give. The smaller windows are easy enough to clean with just a cloth, but I like to use a squeegee on the patio doors because it's much faster and easier to get a streak free shine. Why 
just a dream, just all in my head. Floating rivers upstream, the things that you said. Tell me and be honest. Tell me, did you know that you would be leaving me just like the This little drink table is the last thing I need to clean with a microfiber cloth and then I can get started on the upholstery. But before I do that, I want to vacuum this part of the room so that I have a clean place to put the furniture back. I use a leather cleaner and conditioner on this chair to keep the leather from drying out and cracking. And my husband gets the leather products from the car dealership and he uses them on the seats in the car. And I like to use them on this chair. <laughs> and I just apply it according to the directions on the bottle. And I use a cotton cloth instead of a microfiber cloth. And I know that certain products like fabric softener can clog the fibers. So because this leather conditioner has a slightly greasy feel, I'm not sure it's a good idea to pair it with a microfiber cloth. Dust settles into fabrics just like everything else. So for the rest of the furniture, I like to use a small rotary attachment that came with the vacuum instead of the upholstery brush. And I use the same attachments on the pillows too, and it may not be the best choice for every fabric, but it works well with the materials that we have. Standing underneath the lights Look into each other's eyes Tired snowflakes are coming down Collapse into water when they hit the ground I hear the sound of empty streets I put a blanket in the dryer just to remove the dust and now that that's done I can transfer the blankets over to the dryer and I usually hang them up to dry but I'm using a no heat setting on the dryer instead just to help speed up the drying time. Let our minds be caught up in a dream 
quiet voices in the night Time is running out of sight Lonely wind is passing by Tries to carry all the whispers that it finds The walls are listening when we talk found these faux leather pillows on Amazon and I just love them because they're so easy to clean and they look pretty good on my sofa too. I'll be sure and add a link in the description box if they're still available. Look into each other's eyes There's no one left but you and me It's like a made up place that only we can see I vacuum the front part of the sofa and the areas where the dog hair tends to collect about once every week or so. If I waited eight weeks, I wouldn't be able to tell the difference between the sofa and the dog. <laughs> and the cover I use on this sofa keeps most of the crumbs from making their way between the cushions, but when I'm cleaning in this zone, it's a good time to take everything apart and vacuum up everything that's collected under the cushions. Just remember this. We could have been stardust, same world but without us Something made us, made us find each other out there Made us realize we're more than just stardust Ignore this fact if you must To do what your dreams are telling you to do And I'll be out there looking for someone like you So I guess I should have known You said yourself you want to do this alone What if your dreams are making it hard to think straight If you still love me, I can wait, I can wait And remember this We could have been stardust but without us Something made us Made us find each other out there Made us realize We're more than just stardust Ignore this fact if you must To do what your dreams are telling you to do And I'll be out there looking for someone like you I don't need to move the sofa every time that I clean in this zone. We have a robot vacuum that fits under all of the furniture, and I'm able to get the handheld vacuum underneath the furniture as well. So I'm able to clean all around the sofa without having to move it. But I do have to move the rest of the furniture so that I can clean behind them.
I'm not sure if this tray is genuine leather or not, but I use the same leather cleaner that I use on the chair just in case. And I use the same lens cleaner that I use for my glasses to clean the remotes. And they're mostly alcohol, so they clean and disinfect, but I can keep a few in the tray so that they're easy to reach. I always like to save the floors for last, and I'm using a wet dry vacuum to clean the floors so it doesn't take very long for the floors to dry, but I like to stay off the floors until they're completely dry. <laughs> so once I've finished mopping, I'm usually done for the day, and I use a granite cleaner when I'm mopping the floors, and the machine that I have has only one tank, so I like to spray the cleaner directly onto the floor, and then I use the machine to scrub and rinse the floors clean. Seven days, cause I've been up till 6 a.m. Well, five songs all just for you. Three of them I can bear listening to. I'd give you the world like I promised.
My cleaning routines are definitely not set in stone, it's just a guide that I use to help break up the cleaning into more manageable pieces, so I'm free to do other things that I would rather be doing. There's almost always something that I miss when I'm zone cleaning, and I almost always miss a week altogether, but I can pick up right where I left off without things getting too out of hand. And that's all for today. I hope this zone cleaning series helps with your own cleaning routines, and of course, if you like this video, remember to give it a thumbs up and be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications before you leave today. Thank you so much for spending your time with me and I hope to see you next time.